What? Motherfucker. I mean, that's definitely the part that Tony made, but what are the other things? It almost looks like a uh, like a plasma probe tip. Yeah. The machinist roll must be a gift, but let's throw away this other stuff. Uh, all right, let's fix the primer quickly so we can get the parts open. No problem. I'm just going to basically get it open and then hand it to you to, okay. to talk about and name the person. This is the pop-up antenna that goes on Johnny Five's head, made by this old Tony. And it appeared here magically. It's the second McMaster bag packaging, which we fully endorse and approve of. All right, that's one of his shoulder pivot mounting points for the hug mechanism. Those are from Matt McPartland at Fluxworks. These parts aren't ringing a bell to me what they are right now. We'll uh, take a look at the, take a look at the cam, figure that out, or CAD, and figure that out. And this, I'm fairly certain, is the bezel piece that this old Tony's antenna oh, that's goes awesome. inside of. That's really cool. From Jimco Machine Works. I think they made that on a Swiss. Really? I, I'm pretty sure they're a Swiss shop. I'll have to ask them. I'll set the next one right here for you. Nice wrapping job here. Awesome. Some middle finger segments from Winston Moy. I think one of these was a goof part, but he sent it anyway. <laughs> Did those on a five axis pocket NC. Nice. That's his um, control panel bezel from Adam at MHM Machine Works. Okay, these ones are from Croft Precision Engineering. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Next one's from Trick Engineering. These are the plugs for his upper arms and his, his upper arm pieces mount to these. Mm, great finish on that and some nice engraving. Oh, I the Tom did one. Yeah. Sweet. Is that enough? Okay. Holy cow. It's like the I know. <laughs> flat rate for the win. There's more. Next one's from Tennyson Renner at Nomad Innovations. These are made out of steel and have some engraving. Next piece is from Corey at Lewis Machine. Don't remember what that one is either. Oh, that's really nice. Looks great. Holy cow. These are really cool parts. Some really nice work and parts yeah. in here. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now some of you guys might have already seen Tom Lifton make this laser mount bracket part. One of only several parts on Johnny Five done manually. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Very nice packaging job. Practical, Practical Renaissance. Renaissance. <laughs> I was wondering why my knife felt a little funny as it went in. This is from... <laughs> this piece from Chris Marino. That is his neck channel servo motor uh, mount block. this piece another motor mount this one is for his tool changer arm oh. fun fact want a better way to open packages control o you're welcome that part was the servo mount for his turkey neck mechanism made by bgw machine works up these parts from Jeff at Practical Renaissance. These are his wrist pivot mount plates. That's cool. Yeah. That's when you, if you watch the intro of the movie, you can see the cables actuating that yeah. wrist part. It's got some tiny engraving on there. It looks good. Probably have to get a close up of that. Nice. Holy cow. Speaking my language here. <laughs> Good grief. It's a lot of input. Yes. Julie. <laughs> Did they include a part? Yeah, there's a part in here as well. <laughs> Although at this point, you need not send a part. If you just want to send me chocolate, we're good. There's another part for the tool changer arm from Greg Carl Engineering. Oh, Greg Carl, single letter, sorry. Oh, cool. Really nice. There's some really nice notes, like yes. folks saying, thanks for letting us participate. We're excited to see the build. It's pushed me to finally learn something on my machine or infusion or tool. Like, that's awesome. And he opened with, hey, laser lips, so. <laughs> Mother was also a snowblower. A Bomb 79, another one of the few manually machined pieces. This is that nose cap for his uh, mid torso actuator. I think his other elbow pivot bearing block. Nice. Mm. Beautiful. Yes. The finish is spectacular. It's one of his one of Johnny's shoulder servo mount blocks. Fantastic finish. I absolutely love that folks are putting their own little touches, their tweaks, yeah. engraving, their name. Some people have done like Nova or J5, and um, I couldn't be happier that this robot is gonna have his own little personality and characteristics, which is really important because we wanna maximize the effect when the lightning storm comes. There's another one of quite a few of these little um, neck pivot Ooh. mechanism end blocks. This one from Farsight Industries. Ah, oh, yes. They're really cool. <laughs> I think that takes the cake for the uh, most authentic packaging we've gotten yet. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky, for this and my mini mill. Some blue anodized. These are some more shoulder parts. And which way is up?
This is really cool. Oh, yeah. Alton Instruments. I believe these are the first parts he made on his brand new Okuma. I think it's an LB3000, you know, dual spindle, live tool lathe. Really That's beautiful. Awesome. Yes, stainless. There are some pretty tight tolerances on these bearing journals here too. Yeah. Yeah. Also, one of the few people that's left running an actual legit machine shop in New York City. So Alta, thank you, dude. That's really cool. I think this is the yeah, picture that's okay. this. Sorry. We'll save Kern and it's another part of his one. neck tip mechanism servo mount. ZYCI. Ryan Shore, Shore Machining. Nice. Look at that. Dude, how they built J5 for the movies it's in insane. months. It's freaking crazy. With like yeah. Something like three or four full versions, but 18 partial versions. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Just... I, I don't, don't, don't understand. This is another part for the tool changer arm. Huh? Oh, brass. Yes. Some pretty, pretty good slots on that part. Uh, brass heat sink for his head from the oh, wow. from the Tinker Workshop. Okay, I think these are his elbow, parts of his elbow pivot bearing blocks. That is from Paul Gomez, Innovative Concepts. I think Paul Gomez took our first ever training class really? when it was in the old shop. Yeah, nice. so that, Paul, shout out, thank you. More upper arm side plates. I think he made these on his Skyfire and lasered. I think he has a fiber laser. Lasered a uh, QR code Easter egg there. We'll have to check out in a bit. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Absolutely amazing. This was made on a Hermla, a machine I can only dream of owning one day. Absolutely spectacular and stunning. Uh, beautiful. For Saunders, caution, mirror inside, do not touch. I'll be the judge of that. So this is really cool. Uh, Kern, the machine tool builder, literally used this part as an example for their, I believe their two CEOs or CEO president, to spend the time, soup to nuts, programming and machining a part. Kern builds you know, under 100 machines a year. They're absolutely unbelievable in their quality. And they made this part, and Kern is really good at service finishes, as evidenced by that. Yes. And Dan did some pretty cool stuff yeah. on these. Uh, these are his upper torso side plates. These are Neo or Q? I think Neo, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Neo. Dan, comment below. Did you, which day trying did you make these on? Oh, oh, oh. I might be giving Colonel a awesome run finish. for his money here on this. <laughs> Holy cow. That is freaking sweet. I'm going to guess if I angle this right, you're going to be able to see. If, if, camera's reflection. Cool. Well, I had it upside down. Sorry, Dan. And finish. Oh, it's, that's Oof. beautiful. Some more t-shirts. Thank you for the shirt stand. I think we have one left, Ed. Ed? I think so, yeah. 
So we'll end with a pretty cool one. The probably the most iconic part of Johnny Five, which is drum roll, his laser. We may actually add the toolbox tool because as much as I love firearms and weapons, Johnny Five is kind of a peaceful robot. Yeah. But um, we did Project Egress this summer, and it was really a like a life changing experience to work with so many folks to do this part for the Smithsonian to celebrate the Apollo program. And Adam Savage um, and Jen Schachter on Adam's team were the folks that led that project along with Andrew Barth. So when we were ready to do a J5 part, we thought, wait a minute here. Adam cut his teeth doing prop design prop, work yeah. uh, for the Model folks, uh, industrial light, light magic. magic. Yeah. yeah. So we reached out and we said, would you be willing to play a role in the J5 build? And yeah. before we even open this, Adam and Jen, thank you. Really cool. weathered. Awesome. It's huge. Yeah. Continues Jeez. to blow me away how big J5 really is. Oh, that oh. is cool. Nice. Yes. Yeah, our thought was this on its own, out of context, looks a lot like some sort of spaceship. So mm -hmm. it'd be right up, right up Adam's alley. Yeah, so when we started looking at the laser on its own and you start paying closer attention, you're kind of like, is that really what it looks like? It just didn't, it's not what resonated in my mind as a memory from watching the movie as a kid. Um, and this is totally what it is. And I was thinking like a shot back hose. Um, I think they printed a lot of this, but the work on like, if you've seen his Nerf gun bill, like mm -hmm. what he can do on, on turning that stuff into the, the spray paint and the modifications yeah. and working with the uh, plastic and 3D printing, really cool. Awesome. Let's try not to drop it here. <laughs> Right, works. Well, with that, folks, thank you to everybody. We'll probably do one more build video. I think so. Yeah, one or two. We got maybe yeah. okay, maybe half of half a little more of the parts have come in. Yeah. And then we'll put them together. Start putting them together. Yeah. Awesome. Hope you folks enjoyed. Thank you to all the folks that sent in parts. It means the world. We're blown away that that this is a project that everybody can get behind. And if you guys have ideas of what we should do with Johnny Five, once he's built, let us know. He's gonna be a 300 pound, seven foot tall robot. So there's some limitations of, of how far we can take him. But yeah. if, there's a, if there's a way, we wanna let other folks be able to, to see him, you know, museums, parades, schools, whatever. Yeah. Let him serve as a tool to inspire folks to understand all the different things you can do with a career in engineering, machining, CAD, CAM, programming, all that stuff. As always folks, take care. See you soon. It's happening again. Are you joking? An invoice for $2,000? What the f- Prom picture? Closer. <laughs> Closer. Closer. Serious? This is bringing this is bringing back closer to you or to each other. To you. Okay, to I mean, each other. this this is super weird, Julie. I feel like you're doing this just to f with us. Who would stand on that? Who would stand like this? Unbelievably amazing! Like, look at the detail this is of that. Gorgeous! Thing. Wow! Yeah. Oh shit!